Planet Dolan. Who ended their babysitting career with a prank involving pornography? Who found themselves babysitting a nine-year-old would-be axe murderer? From awful babysitters to awful kids, here are 12 of the most horrifying babysitter stories ever. How's it going? I'm Danger Dolan. I'm here to decipher some random things I found on the internet the other day that I think you might be interested in. Number 12. A nine-year-old boy asked his parents to not go to an event at his sister's school, so they agreed and left him with a babysitter. The sitter was four months pregnant and mostly just let him play visual games like he wanted, but then she started bleeding all over the place, having severe abdominal cramps. The nine-year-old ended up calling his dad, who was an OBGYN, and his dad started to prepare him for a potential delivery of a severely premature baby. Luckily, his dad rushed back and it turned out to only be a scare. That certainly didn't make it any less traumatizing for this young boy. Number 11. One babysitter was watching a young girl and was told that she could let the girl sleep in her parents' room since she had a hard time sleeping without her parents' home. While the kid was in there, she found a gigantic dildo and mistook it for a toy for the dog. After several minutes of chasing down the dog to retrieve the toy, she got it back full of chew marks. She didn't know what to do with it, so she just put it back in the dresser. It wouldn't have been so bad if the young girl wasn't the babysitter's cousin. Number 10. It's relatively common for kids to catch their babysitters getting up to some naughty business, but this is a twist. One babysitter came over with her boyfriend and started trying on clothes. The clothes belonging to the kid's mum, that is. The boyfriend was there for the modeling session, and the kid they were watching was shooed downstairs for reasons. Number 9. A 15-year-old babysitter frequently watched his neighbor's two-year-old daughter and generally without issue. That was until one day when the phone rang. The babysitter answered and, when asked, explained that he was the babysitter. The woman hung up and 10 minutes later, the police were at the door for no reason other than the woman was surprised and suspicious to hear about a male babysitter. Number eight. In the home of a couple of frequent hunters, one girl found herself watching three young kids. One of them liked to run around with no pants, you know, normal kid stuff. But the oldest boy told the babysitter that he wanted to tie her up and shoot her. Eventually, he locked her out of the house and shot her with water guns. Number seven. One Redditor was staying overnight with a friend of her mum's when she was five years old. They fell asleep on the floor in the living room. She woke up to emergency vehicles around the house and someone carrying her out of the house. Her mum's friend who was asleep on the couch had been strangled in her sleep by her ex-husband. Number six. There is a big difference between a babysitting gig that involves changing diapers and one that doesn't. That all comes down to whether or not the kid is potty trained. Unless you're in a situation where the kid is potty trained but hates you, like this babysitter watching a four-year-old girl. Then they just stay you down as they go to the bathroom, shut the door, and then poop their pants if they clean it up. Number five. A Redditor recounted a story where he was babysat along with his brother by a girl who probably liked scary movies a bit too much. In addition to quoting lines from slasher films all the time, she locked the kids in the bathroom with the lights off and wouldn't let them out until they screamed Candyman into the mirror three times. Number four. One 13-year-old girl used to babysit for a neighbor's kids, a 9-year-old boy and a 7-year-old girl. She usually spent more time playing with the older boy until one day when the younger girl threw a fit. So she played dolls with the younger girl, which annoyed the boy, who was used to getting most of the attention. He left for a bit and came back with a hatchet. The babysitter closed the door and he started trying to axe through the door. Luckily, their parents came back at that moment and she never went back. Number 3. You know it's going to be a bad time when it's someone's last babysitting story. He went to watch a couple of kids for the fifth time, but the first four times they were already asleep. So this was the first time he'd actually met them. Turned out they only spoke French for some reason. Surprisingly things went okay until the kids went to bed and the babysitter fell asleep on the couch with the TV on. He woke up when the front door opened as the parents came home and was surprised to find that the TV was on a different channel, one playing hardcore pornography. It was a long, awkward, silent drive when the mum drove the babysitter back home. Number two. One four-year-old boy used to run to the door and give kisses to his babysitter, which was a pretty normal, innocent thing for a four-year-old to do. But then his mum told him that he should stop doing that because the babysitter was his cousin. So he stopped and only found out years later they had no relation whatsoever and his mum just wanted him to stop kissing her. Number one. Some parents trusted 12-year-olds to stay home by themselves, some don't. But one mum hired a babysitter for a 12-year-old daughter. The problem is, the babysitter was a 13-year-old boy. So what's the point of a babysitter who's just the same age? What? Danger Dawn, did you know that we have a countdown book featuring some of our best scripts on sale now? Links down below for the physical and ebook versions. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!